Hello, everybody. One of the things that I've been asked doing trim carpentry is how you finish the ends of the molding with end caps. And you always want to inset at a 45 degree on your end because you're going to be insetting a little bit of material in here. Welcome back, everybody. I drew this little diagram here to maybe help you visualize. And if you're just first starting to make these, it can be complicated to think about and you can waste a lot of stock uh, cutting these. But if you just follow this simple method, you'll do well. Let's assume you already have a piece of trim against the floor and you've inset your two ends at the 45 degree angle. And this is looking down from the top here. Looking as you're looking down at the floor, this is inset your two ends at 45 degrees and you want to put the end cap on them. Well, you take a piece of trim stock that you have here and you put it in a chop stall. Make sure that you have plenty of working length on the left hand side. Don't try to make short cuts with this. And there's a couple ways that you can, uh, you can do this. You can cut the vertical first right here and then you can put your saw to 45 degrees and uh, cut your angle there and that will remove an end cap right here and that will go right up in you're going to glue that to the end okay always cut you'll never go wrong if you're always cutting your stock to a point at the top this will be for left side this will be for right side you can see over here, it's just going to go right into that end. That angle is going to fit perfectly. These are going to be flat against the wall. These, uh, this 90 degrees here, and they're going to be perfect. I think one way to visualize it is, you always think if you're laying it out, that it should look like cat's ears for left and right side, right? Doesn't that look like a little, little cat's ears right there? And put a few eyes in, right? A little mouth happy okay you'll never make a bad end cap the first thing i want to do with my stock is i want to cut a 45 degree angle i have the um, chop saw set at a 45 degree angle here so i'm going to go ahead sit my material down there and get a nice fresh cat I am using some backer block to keep the uh, keep the alignment straight go ahead, go ahead and make that cut let the stall come to a complete stop okay and then the next thing we want to do is change the alignment to 90 degrees okay and what we're going to try to do now you can see we have that angle we're going to try to come straight down with the um, straight down with the saw blade there right up to the tip at a point straight on down okay let's try to do that as carefully as possible just make sure you have some good backing material here to hold your position and I'm going to check the alignment here. I think that looks pretty good. All right. And there is our end cap. It should fit perfectly in the end, a good finished end. Let's go inside and check it and be sure. And you can see now we're just going to take our little end cap and we're just going to float it in right behind there. And you can see how perfectly that fits. Not too difficult, huh? Pretty easy. How to make end caps. Thanks for watching, everybody.